Okay, and we're back again, Jethro. Uh, very unusual. We just released a Zodiac News Network, but we've got awesome. so many girls. I've decided we've got to get it, get as many out. We found another girl on Sunday evening. She is Guadalupe County, New Mexico. Jane Doe died in July of 1978. We're going to feature her today. She was shot in the back uh, numerous times by a 22, and we're going to show you what's on her face today. Um, okay, but before we get started, I hear there's something, some news in your life about your girlfriend. Oh yeah, um, we broke up. Well, she broke up with me actually. Already? Yeah. What happened? You got? I well, thought you guys were in love. We had a similar incident. She um, was choking on another maraschino cherry. She was drinking again. Yeah, and so. And she choked on a maraschino cherry yes. again. Yeah. So well, I, what happened? I actually performed the. Heimlich maneuver this time. I got behind her. The Dr. Heimlich yeah, I, maneuver. I, I thrust it up and her stomach did the right thing and it shot out. Well, what happened? She turned around and she said, that wasn't good enough. Wow. Some women are hard to please, Jethro. Uh, well, let's get to the pictures. Okay. And okay, um, Jethro, today we're going to talk about our brand new discovery. Um, Sunday, I don't know what it was, March, May 31st or June 1st. Okay. Um, came across uh, Jane Doe, Guadalupe County, New Mexico, who died in July of 1978. She was dumped right at the intersection of I-40 and another highway. Okay. I suspect this may be the uh, someone that he kidnapped from California on his way to Texas. I think that's about when he went to Texas and dumped her there. Um She's, uh, it's a really great photo by the, uh, the uh, person who worked in the autopsy lab who took it. Right. And the reason I find it so great is because of markers. You'll hear me talk about markers. So right. I want you to focus on this next photo. This right. is a close-up photo of her neck. Now, she was shot in the back six or seven times by a 22, but I'm sure he grabbed her by the neck. Who knows if he strangled her or whatever. There may be some bruising. But what I want you to notice is there's a light area with a whole bunch of little dots in it. Do you see that yep. right basically in the middle? Yep. Those are pupils, okay? And so we're going to go to the next photo. Oh, wow. Now you're starting to see not only is there dots, there's individual faces. They you see can them see them. Across. Yes, they're all the way across her neck from one end to the other. Let's go to the next photo. Um, that's just what hyperspectral does to her. Now, um, we're up into her eye. This is her right eye. It's closed. That's the eyelid. What do you see at the top of the eyelid? I see a whole bunch of faces. Right. There's, the right. They're yellow. There's a, there's a row of faces. This is what we call a marker. Right. They don't look like great faces yet, but we will hone in. And then we get this. Now she's upside down. We're photographing her, uh, where her, her lashes underneath. And right. what do you see? I see a bunch of the eyelids. And uh, you mean faces? Yeah, faces. Yeah. And faces. what color are they? They're like red. And yeah, red and yellow? Red, yeah. yeah, we got a bunch. Let's go to another photo. What do you see? Same thing. Yeah, lots of faces. So there's, actually, the there's actually two rows of them. Uh, two rows of faces. He does this with film. And uh, that's why we see rows and rows of faces with her. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this photo is the spot where what I want to emphasize in this photo is there is a light colored spot just below her nose between the two nostrils and above the lip. Do you see it? Yep. Okay, that's a marker because it's very light. We know that the light is, is, is reflecting off of that. The reason the light's reflecting off is there's oil on her face. So it's, right. it's like shining. And here's what we find. We have what? Three faces. Right. We've got a us. row right. of faces across her upper lip. Uh, I actually call the first one on her nose, I call that the Burger King guy. That's what he reminds me of. There's another photo of it, right? Yeah. Okay. This next photo, very interesting photo. All I will tell you is this is a leg that looks we're looking like at. a leg that's been amputated. Or well, something. it's not amputated, but it's in bad, you know, bad it looks like shape. it's in bad yeah. shape. Yeah. It could be, maybe it's desiccated, maybe it's, uh, but what's on the leg? Do you see anything that looks like a row of faces? I do. I see and faces are, are they colored? Yes. Yes. 
What else do you see in this photo? That, you see like a fur coat. Right. Oh, very good. A furry it. coat. Right. right. So that leg is lying next to a fur coat. Right. Right. Very good eye. Let's go to the next photo. And we're, what I'm trying to do is just get the faces better. Right. Okay. Still and, see the fur coat. Right. And there's a fur coat. Right. Now, those are pretty good. We're getting into a lot of detail. They're yellow. Right. These are clearly a row of faces on this leg lying next to a fur coat. Let's go to the next photo. And it's kind of hard to see because of the hyperspectral, but you can see the leg, you can see the color, the where the faces are, and see it's more of the, of the fur coat. Yeah, yeah. See most of the coat. yeah, more of the more of the coat. And then let's go to the next photo to show you even more. Oh my goodness, um, it's a dog, and there's his what? leg, and you you saw how dark he was because of hyperspectral. Yeah, that's a dog's leg that we were showing you. And if you look closely, you can see, and guess whose dog that is? Arthur the Lee The monster Allen. himself. He's being interviewed by Rita Williams, and I think his dog's name was Sadie. There's Sadie laying right next to him. We got some photos of Sadie and honed in on her, and she's oh got cartoon. God. This man is a monster. Wow. Yeah, a monster.